All right, let's get you some perspective now on that story. I'm joined here in our Nairobi studios by security analyst Bernard Macau. Bernard, thank you. First, let's start off with that video that was released over the weekend. Do we know at, at this stage whether it is authentic or not? I think it's, we, know, we can judge it to be authentic because apparently the American government and uh, the Canadians, uh, even the UK government, are reacting to it, are making reference to that video as a, a warning that should go out to public. So based on, on, on their making reference, we, we can decide that, we can uh, judge it to be an authentic. In 2013, though, we saw um, what Al-Shabaab can do, you know, with a mall attack, a Westgate mall attack in Kenya. In terms of uh, the West, though, and, and all the security uh, issues that have been put in place, does Al-Shabaab really have the capacity to carry out an attack in the West? Certainly, I think they do. Uh, capacity could be uh, based on one individual. Yeah, maybe not have uh, the same uh, ability to, 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 to do as much damage as they did at, at Westgate here in Nairobi. But certainly because if, if you have one person who intends to, to hurt other people, uh, th then it's very difficult to protect against, to completely wipe out uh, the ability of any terrorist organization from attacking and, and hurting other people. So I'd, I'd say yes, they, they, they do. Well, in that video, though, the man is uh, asking for uh, individuals to take action. But again, the man is threatening Kenya as well. Should Kenya be worried? Kenya should certainly be worried. Uh, we are in the war zone with Al-Shabaab already. Um, uh, admittedly, yes, the West and, and the U.S. is uh, helping our government in, in fighting terrorism uh, within our region. But we are on the front line. So if, if the U.S. is going to be attacked or if there is plans to attack the U.S., be sure there are also plans to continue on that war here in Kenya. That having been said, uh, I, I would judge this, um, this, this video to be more of a, 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 a fans drive sort of effort, a recruitment effort, trying to get more into the limelight. You, you notice that uh, ISIS has taken the right. terrorism limelight away from Al-Shabaab uh, for some time now. And this, I judge it to be Al-Shabaab trying to get back into the, into the forefront. That's why they are threatening the U.S. now. And again, Bernard, though, I, I, I'm going to go back to the uh, masked man in that video where he's asking for individuals to take action there. And, and as we saw earlier in our reports, there seemed to be a growing ten, trend of expatriates returning home uh, from the diaspora to carry out these um, attacks. What's your take on that? Well, I, uh, I, I've just made reference to ISIS and, 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 and that, that, uh, that war zone uh, in, in the Arabian Peninsula has afforded a, a lot of experience and training to, to many people who, who went to join the ISIS effort there. And now they are coming back home with that training, with that radicalization. So we would expect to see that. Uh, the, the reference to individuals uh, taking up arms and, and, and going out to do something is, 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 is likely a pointer to the fact that there might be isolated um, cell groups right. in the U.S. and uh, wherever else th that may not have any direct linkages that could be traced uh, to Al-Shabaab in Somalia. And, and this is therefore saying that maybe they are appealing to those um, isolated cell groups to go out and, 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 and do something, an attack, yeah, so to support the strategy, the, the organizations. Strategy. Very briefly though, Bernard, are we seeing a resurgence in Al-Shabaab now? Uh, they, they are, they, we are, they are trying to, 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 to come back into the limelight, that's what I'd say, because uh, ISIS again had taken away their, their, their limelight. But whether, in fact, they will succeed in, in doing that or not uh, remains to be seen. All right. Uh, security analyst Bernard Macau, thank you very much for coming into the studio with us.